Once you've created an account, log into Fader with your username and password. You'll be prompted to name your 360 degree story in the top left box. This dark space across the screen is your canvas on which you'll lay your content. The directions on this grid shows you what your audience will see when they look around. Your story is going to be made up of a series of scenes, usually with a different piece of content in each. Add as many scenes as you need for your video by clicking the plus icon. Use the toolbar on the left to upload any 360 degree videos or images, 2D videos and images, 2D videos and photos, text and audio you want to use. Maximum size upload for video is 300 megabytes, so be sure to compress it beforehand if you're working with larger files. Drag and drop your media into the space here. Now all different file types will be listed together and will begin uploading automatically. If you want to start with some text, simply click the T on the toolbar and type away. Click the tick and you'll see your text appear in the space. As with all media, the position and size of this can be adjusted in the item settings. To add 2D content, simply select the corresponding icon on the toolbar. So in this case, it would be the camera for a 2D image. Choose your picture and position it where you'd like using the settings. Drag the screen to move around your story's canvas. In this example, I'm creating a gallery of images for the opening scene. Select scene two and add the content you want to follow on from the first scene. Any video or photographs added from this icon in the toolbar will be made into 360 degrees once it's inserted, regardless of whether it was shot on 360 or traditional camera. Here I'm inserting a video I shot on a 360 degree camera. 2D photos and videos inserted as 360 will be warped to fit the space. Just make sure you move the image to have what you want the audience to focus on at the front of the canvas. Add interactive elements to any scene with this symbol, which will allow your audience to jump between scenes that you've set, having more control over what they see. They will appear as circular pictures that can then be placed on top of your video and sized to fit. When the viewer looks at these, the scene they're watching will change. Preview your work before publishing. Here is our example we've just made, sped up so you can see how the scenes transition from one to another. Once you're finished, publish the link to your story on your news organization's social media pages.